What's up, YouTube? Back again with another video. And yes, you read that title correct. You can read it again, you can read it a thousand times, and it will absolutely be the same as I'm about to say. Um, I kind of just want to go over why, and I why I, I know and I believe that Battlefield 2042 will be COD's killer for the next generation. Um. I mean, I've been playing COD for a while, so for any COD people out there that can get mad, listen, man, I played for 12 years. I played COD for 12 years, man. Um, I did the math around 10 to 11,000 nukes to my name. Years of making max rank on CODs, you know. <coughs> playing, you know, competitively for six years. Doing YouTube. For now, what six years? Coming up on six years, and I love COD. Right? It's it's my favorite my favorite shooter. But COD has made some really bad decisions in the past two to three to four years um, since Black Ops Four. Easily, some may say Infinite, Vance, Ghost. I don't think they're bad games. There were games that were misunderstood at the time, but not necessarily bad games. <coughs> Also, real quick side note, the gameplay is the same from the last game, last video. Uh, it turns out this video, this video's content was just one solid game. So I just started a little back further, but it'll be some new gameplay towards the end. Back to what I was saying. I just wanted to mention that was also my it was my train of thought. COD has made some really bad decisions in the last couple of years with Modern Warfare and Cold War Black Ops 4 and Warzone. They have strived to make this game so much different than what the core values were ever about. COD has always been about a competitive mindset, but the ability for newer players to get used to the game, to get better. But unfortunately, it's it's not like that anymore. Now it's either you play Warzone and be a god or you cheat. It's like going to Cold War and cheating, or not playing the game and just sitting in a spot with an LMG with a thermal on it. Zombies is is cool, but it's it's just a grind factory. It's it's has no meaning to it. There's no there's no joy to it. Blackout failed. Black Ops Four had no campaign. It's zombies was a fucking shambles. The multiplayer was a joke that is laughable to the day I die. 150 HP my ass. Modern Warfare was a failed attempt at realism. Attempt to be something it wasn't. An attempt to be Tarkov, and it wasn't. The storyline was interesting, but didn't hold. It didn't give me, didn't give me the love that I had playing the original. And you know, Cold War's campaign was cool. But the only cool part was me being able to kill Woods and Mason because it was fun to kill characters that I have loved for years. But that's it. That's all it is. Battlefield 2042 is different. It really is. It's 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 a whole new thing. And I want to go over something new. I'm not gonna go over the same you know bullshit that everyone else is gonna go over. <coughs> what I'm gonna go over with you guys is. The fact that um, there's something called Battlefield Portal, Battlefield 2042 Portal, I believe is what they're calling it, and and this is a really different, unique item. It's a game mode that I've been asking for in Call of Duty for the last six to seven years, almost, been asking for it nonstop, every single day. And many of you may know this, you know, maybe some of you may have been my friends that long or been in my streams that long and you know you see me always asking for it or just talking about an idea of it. But basically what it is, is it's custom games. But custom actually means something. So for just an idea. You can have they have Battlefield nineteen forty two, Battlefield three, Bad Company two, and Bad Company One content in the game. 40 plus weapons, 40 plus vehicles, 30 plus gadgets in the game mode. <coughs> but not only this, everything you do is saved online. So if you level up, 
saves. And even going deeper than that, you can change the core mechanics of the game down to weapon damage, gadget damage, armor, AI, map design. It is so in depth. Now this all may seem interesting, but you'd be like, well, what's the point? Like, what, is, what does this have to do with Call of Duty? It has everything to do with COD because of one simple thing. They have listened to what the fans had asked. They have. Battlefield fans since BF5 and BF1 wanted this, and they delivered. Will COD deliver this year? Who knows? Here it is, almost August, and we have yet to see, even see a title card for our own fucking game. It's honestly gross. It's gross. Because... I don't know if I want to buy this game, you know? Battlefield 2042, 20, 20, I've already bought it. It's in my library, ready to go to... You know, as soon as they hit the switch, I'm, I'm ready to go, baby. But I say this because it represents what we need in COD, right? It represents what we need in gaming overall. And I can't believe this, but I think EA is nailing it this year. DICE is nailing it this year so far. They're giving us a battlefield that we wanted. They are leaking it and talking about it in perfect ways to get you intrigued to want more but they're not spoiling the game the only minor downside of this game is this beta is taking forever to go live but the thing is if COD needs to suffer this year in order for it to come back to its old glory days they have a voice crack. That's fucking horrendous. Holy shit. Sorry about that, guys. But if, if Khan needs to suffer, right, um, then let it be it. If 2042 is going to be the greatest shooter of next generation, so that the next generation Khan can come back stronger and harder than ever before, let it be it. Let the, let the work be done, right? And who is to say that COD will be good this year? Who knows? They're really focused on Warzone, which is hurting the COD franchise. I don't care what, who the fuck you are. Warzone is killing this franchise. It is killing it from the inside out. Battlefield's not doing what we are. And it's working for them. It's working. Their sales are through the roof. Their ratings are through the roof. Their hype is through the roof. PRs are dead, Cod. Let it go. Let it go. Alright. And I only say this because in the state that we're at, in the gaming industry that we're at, it is hard for games to come back. It is. Right? 20 years ago, a game that was dead for a few months or a year or two could come back no problem with an update. With today's world where there's constant updates, constant information coming out, it is nearly impossible for a game to come back stronger than ever. Me and my friend were talking about this before, earlier at work, <coughs> about Fortnite. And I, you know, and we thought about it long and hard in Fortnite, even with the new updates and the fixes they're making, it'll never be what it was honestly ever again because in the gaming world that we live in games they change you know they go they we go through games fast constantly you know and with battlefield taking the right approach this year if warzone continues to be the f the, the front lines for cod they're never going to go anywhere they're just going to constantly be in this battle to make Warzone last, and it's just not gonna. <coughs> and all people out there might say, well, Warzone's pretty good, bro. No, it isn't. You're lying to yourself. 
Warzone is trash. It is broken to the fucking bones. The game is played with cheaters, hackers, griefers. The only thing good about Warzone is having funny moments with your buddies. Like seeing the helicopter just crash in this gameplay. We all could like a yeah, big laugh at that. But that's it. Getting a kill doesn't even feel pleasurable in any way. It doesn't feel earnable in any way. It's sickening. COD needs to change itself. COD needs to reinvent itself. It needs to fucking do something different. Either go back to its old school playstyles or do something completely new. This isn't going to work anymore. And this is my theory on why Battlefield 2042 is going to be the next title. To be, you know, the next COD style title. Because <coughs> who wants to just play the same game, right? But, but Battlefield 2042 is now offering you the chance to make endless styles of combat if you want to do a hundred and twenty seven people like L like S uh, meleeers versus a, a guy with a m249 saw one reach 127 you can do that you can do it or do shotgun versus snipers or shotgun for shotguns or melee versus melees and you can change how guns work that is completely new and that it's what the industry needs. It needs innovation, not de-innovation. This has been Cabo, XLSS Gaming. And I am here today with this video. Confident in saying that 2042 will be the best selling game, or best selling shooter game of the year. A little bit different type of video, but it was something I wanted to talk about, and this is the best way I could figure to talk about it. Some nice, slow, some relaxing music in the background. Just being real. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next one. Later, guys.